Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can use uh, Google Sheets uh, to help us calculate mean, median, mode, and range. So, uh, what this will do is we'll hopefully uh, calculate this for us. Um, sometimes when we have large data sets, as we will have in our test here, it's hard to calculate these. So, using Google Sheets will um, definitely improve this for us. So, uh, you can do the exact same thing as I'm doing here in Excel if you need to. Um, it's, there's not much of a difference, but the, the strategy is quite simple. So we'll go through each one quickly and I'll show you how we can calculate this using uh, Google Sheets. So here we have a list of results from uh, a practice test that we may have done. Uh, we want to be able to calculate the mean, median, mode and range using Excel here. So all you need to do is simply uh, cr create a formula so that will um, give you your information. So to do that, you need to start with just by putting in a equal sign. So it's a plus sign, again a plus sign, so we go equals, um, and then you want to type in what you want to find. So here I want to find the mean, and you'll notice that it doesn't come up. So the best thing to look up is then average. Okay, so I want to use the average here. Um, I'll click on that, and then it's going to ask me to give the uh, data. So all I do is highlight all this information here. So I want from 42 down to 21. You'll see up on the uh, formula there, it's got the set of data. All I need to do is close the brackets, press enter, and that will give me my uh, result there. So as you can see here, it's quite a big number. All you need to do is just round that off to the uh, second digit there. Um, so that's how you calculate mean. So instead of using mean, just use average. Now to calculate the median, same thing. Equal sign, you should be able to just type in median, and it will come up there. Um, it gives you your open brackets, so we just need to again highlight the key information. I want to close those brackets, enter. I've got my median, so remember that is the number that sits in the middle. So 51 in this case is the median number on this data set. Mode, MO, the number that appears most often. I want to find what that is. Equal sign, I'll type in mode and that will come up. As it says there, most commonly occurring value. Click on mode, opens my brackets, select the data, and then simply close the brackets and enter. So the mode, the number that appears the most is 49. Now to find range, it's uh, slightly different. It doesn't necessarily have a formula. So you're gonna have to do this simply yourself. So to find, uh, again, the range, it's the highest new um, value minus the uh, smaller. So you can either just scroll through and find that yourself if you are confident enough, as long as you don't make um, see an error. So I've got 42 at the moment as the lowest. So if I say 42, let me see if there's anything lower than 42. Doesn't look like that is. No, so 42 is my lowest number. And my highest number is, so we've got 51 there, 58, 61. Got 62, and 62 is my second highest. So I have, um, I can just put 62 minus 42, enter, and that will give me my answer right there. So in this case, I'll use 20 as the range. Okay, so that's how you can find the mean, median, mode, and range using Google Sheets. This will be very helpful for your assessment, um, and then we'll be able to, once you've done that for each of the sections, We'll then be able to go on and analyze that data.